Another assessment and treatment that we con um, commonly like to go to is the quadruped position. This position is typically comfortable for um, several patients and what we're looking at is basically, as you can see, in this position, the weight of the baby tends to pull the spine down and a lot of times we want to try to enforce the strength to maybe hold it together. One thing that we want to do in this position is we can use a foam roller to try to get Nora to maintain three points of pressure where we're holding this foam roller in a nice straight line. With it. So to try to challenge and make sure the muscles are all working the way we want to, we try to look for three points of contact. The base of the skull, the mid spine, as well as the sacrum. The inner core muscles really have to work to fight against gravity and the weight of the baby to keep this flush against the foam roller. So Nora, do you feel your muscles are sort of working in your yes. abdomen to try to keep the pressure up here? Yep. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is take away one base of stability. So I'm gonna have you reach your left arm forward towards the door. Good, and then come back down. And then try the right arm. Awesome. Not only am I assessing, does she have any drops? Does there, is there any sort of valleys here where it's hard for her to keep that there? This also can turn into an exercise. We could then say, why don't you do it three times on each? Now a little bit harder is then kicking the leg back. So we'll try one leg first. Good, and then coming back, and then the opposite. Good. Again, the nice thing is to be able to assess the symmetry between both sides. Very good job. Thanks. So the core muscles um, are definitely pretty controversial to train during pregnancy. A lot of people don't know, you know how to train the core muscles, especially as they're stretching and they may be separating as well. So, you know, you have to kind of figure out what works best for your body. Um, there are a lot of myths about doing uh, certain core exercises, what, what's good and what isn't. So we like to, in the pregnant program, keep the um, core in a neutral position. So we don't do a lot of like flexion. We also don't do a whole lot of extension <clears throat> with the core when working the core. So one of the ones that I really love to do um, is down in the quadruped position, so onto hands and knees, we do a quadruped hip lift. It's very simplistic, but it's really helpful to coordinate the breathing, um, as well as the pelvic floor. So in this position, um, her, her core and her pelvic floor can be totally relaxed, and a great way to kind of prepare her, her, yourself for this movement um, is by doing some diaphragmatic breathing. So just a couple of breaths kind of into the belly, just letting the belly relax, and then exhaling and kind of gently hugging your baby toward your spine. So when we add to this movement with the hip lift, we're really putting a much higher demand on the core muscles, and especially those deep core muscles that pull everything closer to the spine. So um, so what Aaron, what you're gonna do, and when you set up, you wanna make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, perfect, and knees underneath your hips and toes turned under, which is perfect, yep. So what she's gonna do, she's gonna inhale to prepare, again, inhaling into her belly. She's gonna exhale, gently pull her baby toward her spine, and then she's gonna lift her knees up off the mat, hold for a second, and then she's gonna inhale to return and relax her knees down. Now she's gonna repeat the exact same pattern, and you should be able to find a good rhythm with the exhale, starting the exhale first, pulling the belly button in, finishing the exhale through that hold at the top, and then inhaling to relax and release. So with this movement, um, it can be really helpful to make sure that you are completely relaxing your core and your pelvic floor when you're inhaling at the bottom. That way you get that contrast between engaging the muscles and then relaxing the muscles, which is gonna be really important for pregnancy and birth and then postpartum as well.